Hello everyone, this is Felix from GM Wolf. Today I want to showcase my new uh, tool, uh, my refactoring tool, which allows you to change the name of different resources such as objects, sprites, and in fact all the resources uh, in Game Maker, and also allows you to change the name of, of uh, variables, etc. So for example, if we look at uh, th this uh, game over here, which I created a while back, um, we can see that, first of all, Let's look at an easy example, for example, the rocket. I call it OBJ rocket, which uh, doesn't really make sense because it's not a rocket, it's a missile. So what I can do is open up my tool over here. You'll be granted with this window, which allows you to choose uh, the project uh, directory. So I'm going to choose uh, project.gmx. Yes, pull this back up. And now I can, do, uh, I can enter two values. The old string, which is uh, the original name which is already in the game, a new string which is what I want to change it into. So for example obj underscore rocket I can change to obj underscore missile. Press refactor, continue, and now in Game Maker everything reloaded and now this is called obj missile. However if I look at it over here I see that it's sprite called spr rocket uh, over here, and that doesn't make much sense. I need to change it to SPR missile. So SPR underscore rocket. I'm going to change into SPR underscore missile. Press refactor. Continue. And wait for Game Maker to reload in the background. And now you can see I've got SPR missile and OBJ missile. Nice. Now inside my player objects, I see that I have. Um, uh, for example, gun len. That doesn't make much sense. Well, I know what it means, and maybe you even know what it means, but really it should be called gun length. Also, it doesn't really stick with the rest of my um, of my naming convention, where I use uh, underscores and not capitals. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, well, first of all, I'll show you that I'm using these variables in quite a few other places, especially in the drawer event, I think. Uh, no, wait, uh, in the draw left button, maybe? Yes, here you go, gun len an angle. Um, it sh I should really be calling them otherwise to stick with the rest of my game. So what I can do is go gun len. I'm going to change into gun underscore length. Press refactor. Continue. Now if I um, close these, I hope it didn't override when I did this. Um, no, here you go, gun length. Uh, now I need to do the same with gun angle. Uh, oh yeah, as you can see, I'll just show it right now. Uh, it will change it everywhere over here as well. And I can do the same with gun angle, etc. I'm not going to do it now uh, because it'll take some time. But uh, you get the, the point. Now I can do other things. I just want to show you how powerful this tool is. For example, um, my bullet object over here has a collision event of obj wall. Now if I want to, I can change my uh, I can change obj underscore wall to obj underscore block. I hope I don't have another block object. I don't. That's good. And I can press refactor. Continue. Wait for Game Maker to reload. And now it's called OBJ block. And my bullet object has a collision event with OBJ block. All seems to work well. Also, if I open my uh, dungeon generator over here and I go into this last thing, I can see that everywhere here says OBJ block, where before it would have said OBJ wall. Uh, and you can use it for every single resource. Uh, and uh, what I'll do is try to find something nice. Yes, for example, um, I'm pretty sure, let's see, and so it's called inside my graphics object, I'm pretty sure I have some, some interesting code to use. Um, let's see. This was all in a while back. No. Ah, this is really must be an old project because I'm drawing in the step event, which hasn't been available in quite some time. But anyhow, as you can see over here, I have a uh, in view, um, but that doesn't make much point, uh, much sense. I need to change it into point in view for it to make any sense. And as you can see, my script is over here in view. I can do in underscore view. I want to change into point underscore in underscore view. Press refactor. 
continue and uh, Game Maker should be reloading in just a second, here you go and now if I go into script I see point in view and inside my objects, graphics, draw step was it? Ugh, I should really change this project, it's quite old I see a point in view over here and yeah, that's basically it for this tool. As you can see, it's very powerful. It will allow you to change a lot in your project. Um, you know, from misnamed variables, even when you forgot naming them. Uh, well, that is for objects, if you left it to object zero or sprite zero. And uh, I hope you'll find this useful. I'll put a link to where you can get it in the description of this video. And I'll see you guys next time.